cover of Glamorella this month. I mean, just look at her. Two fat, big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene, she'd still be a fluff girl at Vivisection, making ten bucks a stiffy if I was still around. Ugh. Tawny Sessions is a wannabe face girl with no talent whatsoever and scabby little knees. Do you know she got model of the year? Before I got here, she would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques Penet. Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is Imalia. Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot, and I knew it, which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. I don't want to kill her, that's too quick and painless. I want to ruin her name in the business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big, fat ass. I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them once you're there. Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into her computer using the password Cleopatra. From there, you'll be able to activate the camera. Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? She lives in Hollywood, an apartment building right across from the Lucky Star Motel. I had someone here dig up a spare key to her apartment for me. Take that, too. Sure, whatever. His room is just down the hall. You might be able to find him in there. Sure, whatever. Nosferatu have a sixth sense of humor. Sometimes they feel that their victims, namely moi in this particular case, have an overabundance of vanity and need to be taught an important life lesson. Well, I just won Guy Magazine's The Most Ridiculously Hot Chick in the Known Universe Award. And when I came home after the ceremony, lo and behold, Gary was sitting there on my couch with a martini in his hand. You fill in the blanks. Yeah, the lesson is, life is a cold-hearted bitch, so now I get to be one, too. You get that? You need to write it down?
<laughs> oh, you did not just try to run a trace on me. All right. Take that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope you backed on that server tonight. Boss is gonna be real pissed when his mom starts getting love letters from porn sites. <sighs> what? Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <sighs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook. But stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> wow, you really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnip. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? The Croix boy. Surprised you actually made it down here. I've been following your progress on the cameras. Handled yourself pretty well with all of the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. <laughs> Yeah, who knows why you're here. LaCroix must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with Gary, sheriff or no sheriff. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> Go ahead. What, the Warrens? Not much to tell. Just a bunch of us living down here, trying to stay off the radar. It ain't pretty, but it's home. Gary's the big man on campus. He's running the show. There's more of us than you'd think. They're around. But you won't see too many of the brood down here. But they'll be watching you. <laughs> You, here, <laughs> the Christ spy. <laughs> Come on, newbie. Do we really look that stupid? If you think we're on the same team as LaCroix, then you've got a lot to learn. I doubt Gary is gonna want you setting up shop down here. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you.
the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh, you might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. We are talking. But you aren't listening, boss. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? You should know this, Nosferatu. What do our kind want? We want to know. What's the first question you would ask if you were me? Wrong. Try again, boss. Wrong. Try again, boss. You're a bright one, aren't you? Exactly. Because I already know who you are, but I don't know why you're here. And when I don't know something, I need to find the answer. And why would you need to find them, boss? You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the Prince. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. I like to discuss business face to face. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> Recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. Little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than Mae West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Oh, 
my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shabisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown, I'll give you what you need. Hey, save yourself some time, boss. You've got no bargaining power. I know Prince Pris is breathing down your neck every second you keep him from his prize. Close your mouth, chew on the resentment, and open your ears. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That eyesore is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kui Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao, ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. <laughs> Use your head and your eyes. Chinatown's more liable to offer you than ten Hollywoods, but not if you're smart. Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Let's see what I got. For a fellow sewer rat, I'm willing to let it go cheap. Use your head and your eyes. Chinatown's more liable to offer you than ten Hollywoods. But not if you're smart. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am.